How's it going guys, my name's Wilson. Two of the fastest, most explosive point guards the last decade traded for one another. There's been way too much drama between Wall and his displeasure with the Wizards franchise the last few years. We all saw it coming. Awkward moments between him and Tommy Shepard. Something was about to go down sooner or later. In reality, Wall's time with the Wizards has been fairly disappointing. From being a number one pick, never even won 50 games in the 82 game season, and the weak Eastern Conference hasn't shown much leadership qualities. A mystery after recovering from his Achilles injury. Not liking the team was looking at Bradley Beal as the franchise star instead of him who hasn't played in almost 2 years. After Beal put up 30 points a game, Wall wasn't even present some games. Now the second option with the Rockets, some of the same flaws with Westbrook but better on defense and 2 years younger. Russ on the other hand was an absolute travesty in the 2020 postseason, especially in the Lakers series from getting blocked by LeBron James 100 times to nearly giving up the OKC series, average under 18 points, 7 rebounds, 4 and a half assists on 42% shooting, 24% from three, and nearly four turnovers a game, almost as many as assists, unacceptable at all levels, especially with his contract, given he had an injury and wasn't 100%, not being able to perform at the highest level in the most important times, two games he scored 10 points against LA, four of 15 and four of 13 shooting respectively, disgusting numbers, Rajon Rondo a better outside shooter than Russ, and looked better in most of that series, not even an exaggeration, the untimely turnovers going out of control Houston looked worse when he was back in the lineup it's a shame given his fat contract combined with CP3 taking OKC further in the first round than Westbrook ever did after the post Durant era both Wall and Westbrook passed their primes declining athleticism in their early 30s three years left on their contracts not so bright no longer top three point guards if I had to say who won this trade I slightly go with Houston since they're also getting a first round pick trying desperately to keep hard and happy if James gets traded, there would be no clear favorites honestly. Neither team would be winning or contending for a legit title anyway. Washington on the wall hasn't even made it to the conference finals in the weaker conference. If Westbrook can lead his team to a 44-28 and 28 record, a 61% win-loss margin, it would be a higher record than any of Wall's seasons. The lineup of Russ, Bradley Beal, Denny, who might not make an impact right away, Hachimura, a solid young power forward, Davis Bertans off the bench at 6 men, and Thomas Bryan, very solid. Beal will have to be patient with Russ, at times frustrated not getting looks, while Wall's a pass first point guard and doesn't look to score. Wall and Beal complemented each other very well, they just didn't have that many good role players. Wall shot between 15 to 18 times a game, every season playing with his former backcourt mate, while Westbrook has taken between 20 to 24 shots since Durant left him, 25 and 47 overall for Washington without their star point guard, similar to a 28 win season in 82 games, many of the Wizards role players won't shoot that much with the two guys combined taking nearly 46 shots a game in 2020. I see Washington ending up between the 6 to 8 seed, not better than Milwaukee, Brooklyn, Miami, Philadelphia, or Boston, and honestly, Indiana will likely win more games than them. Having good chemistry and a solid regular season team, even Toronto, despite losing Gasol and Ibaka, has good vets and knows how to win. If all those teams finish ahead of Washington, Wizards getting the 8 seed, especially with Chicago and Atlanta, two young teams getting better, Washington might not even make the playoffs. Even if they do, no chance at competing whatsoever, especially with Scott Brooks who's coached Russ for many years with OKC. Too much iso ball back and forth with Russ and KD. I predict Beal to average around 27 a game, shoot between 45-48%. to 48%. Westbrook now 32 years old, will continue to play hard and attack, will put up between 22-26 to 26 points, not focus too much on scoring, but trying to get the other role players involved, likely average between 8.5 to 11 assists, help the team stay balanced collectively, attempting 3.73s a game at 26, the fewest amount since the 2013 season. At least that's a good sign. Russ should not attempt more than that number because he's not good at shooting threes, period. Even though Wall's a better outside shooter, the East will be better in 2021. The Wizards with Westbrook will likely suffer the same fig, inefficient in the playoffs, give up a ton of points, a bad defensive team, extremely fun to watch, probably a top 8 team on league pass, but will be eliminated in the first round, likely by the Brooklyn Nets. While Wall 
overall two seasons ago averaged 26 in the six games against Toronto in the first round with DeRozan and Lowry Beal 23 that series with role players Otto Porter, Markeith Morris, Kelly Oubre and Morsin Gortat 2021 Wizards role players Bertans Hachimura and Brian not that much better anyway I don't see this team doing better against the 2018 Raptors team the franchise desperately doing what they can to keep their shooting guard happy but I predict Beal will demand the trade by 2021 and won't last more than two seasons with the diminishing Westbrook while Hardens will simply continue to lose in the postseason now at 31 years old if he stays in Houston championships should be the only thing on his mind nothing else Walls game does complement Harden a little bit better than Russ and being an elite ball handler a good defender and passer Harden's workload won't have to take a pounding every night realistically pairing Harden with star players haven't translated to making the finals Dwight Howard didn't work out the team actually better without him from role players Lou William Pat Beth got destroyed by San Antonio and then CP3 gave Harden the most success especially 2018 when both clicked Paul averaged around 18 points 8 assists Wall likely similar numbers anything less would be disappointing Wall wasn't a great leader with Washington now he won't have to worry about who's running the show in Houston as long as Harden's there Wall also can't shoot threes like CP3 and not affected playing off ball he needs to be the point guard Paul wasn't too pleased with standing around during the 2019 season watching Harden try to score doing his ISO style try to put a 40 every game if the beer series is about winning he needs to save that for the playoffs instead of chasing stats in the regular season but if Wall can't stay healthy combined with a diminished DeMarcus Cousins at least Christian Woods brings in a little bit of hope we know Harden and Wall's chemistry will be phenomenal outside of the hardwood but when it comes to winning time the Rockets are not better than the Lakers or Clippers can still compete with other teams like the Nuggets Mavs and Blazers if Harden stays I predict Houston finishes between the 4th to 6th seed but a second round exit to one of these LA teams in the long run this trade will have no significant impact the Rockets have a better chance at advancing further in the playoffs anyway as long as Harden's there but might just last a week or two longer than the Wizards two declining superstar point guards no longer superstars relying on too much athleticism and below average shooters neither one or top 10 players anymore new players in different uniforms Washington same results from 2018 last time they made the postseason and Houston same results from last season thank you so much for watching this video and getting this far if either Russ or John Wall makes all NBA second team in 2021 at least second team the first person to DM me on IG at WilsonSide93 will win an NBA jersey of their choice that's if one of these players make all NBA second team in 2021 not third team but second team or first team definitely not first team but for second team we'll see and find out soon subscribe for more content more good stuff coming soon i love all of you see you next time